Hi folks, Bob Collins for Edgehog Dive Gear. So you're getting ready to order your total buoyancy control package. And of course, we're pretty proud to announce that the TBCS has been selected as Scuba Lab's tester's choice for 2021. Now, what you're gonna do is you can look at that PDF or you can go to the website and go into the consumer guide and take a look at the parts and pieces. So you're going to be ordering a unit based on the way you dive. If you're up north, you're probably gonna want the stainless hard plate. Maybe down in the south, you're going to be utilizing the aluminum hard plate. And of course, if you're a traveling diver, you're probably going to want the soft plate. So when you look at the PDF, it's, it's a basically a picture that shows you all of the different parts and pieces that you can order. But what I've done, I've got here pretty much a basic total buoyancy control system that most any diver would order just make accommodations for whether it would be stainless steel plate or aluminum or soft, but basically this is what you are gonna get. So let's take a look at it. So you're gonna open your box and you're gonna find everything packed in here nice and neat. So these two items, this is your tank straps, whether it's a plastic cam, or a stainless cam, or it could be the quick fit cam. Now, these of course come with a rubber uh, friction bumper inside this bag. Next, we've got our big bag. Get a close up here. This is the harness and accessory parts that we need to put the entire system together with. I'm gonna open this in a minute. We'll also have a small bag, and this small bag is our crotch strap. Now, you're either gonna get a one and a half or a two, and it's you can use it or you don't have to use it. Look inside this bag because you're gonna have two metal grommets in here. Now, we've got our plate. This happens to be a red aluminum back plate. As you can see here, it's a beautiful piece and either red or black, stainless or a soft plate. You're also going to have in there your weight pockets. Now this happens to be a set of the small weight pockets. These are five pound weight pockets each, or you can choose the large weight pockets, which are 10 pounds each. This is the 32 pound wing and the 32 pound wing now comes with a left shoulder pull dump. It does not have a right shoulder and it comes with a new inflator hose. It comes with your nice uh, inflator mechanism on here, inflator deflator. This is where we mount and run our bungees through here. And what you can see is you can see the flags here where the bungees go through. Inside the bag is also your bungee, and the bungee is not completely assembled. There's a collar and the clips. Put the collar on one end, the clip on one end, thread it through, decide what length you want it, trim it if you want to, or you can go ahead and just utilize it as the length it is, which is very, very acceptable. Now, one thing I'll point out about the wing is the wing, of course, you can get, the standard pretty much across the board is the 32. It's good for steel tanks, that sort of thing. But you can also get a 23 if you're using the soft plate and you want to travel with it, very, very uh, nice size wing. Or if you're a public safety team out there, you're probably gonna want the 60 pound wing. I know ERDI has a minimum for public safety teams of 40 pound lift for those wings. Now, some of you have asked me, do I need the single tank adapter? You know, that's pretty much up to you, but I'm gonna tell you this, if you're definitely using 
117s or 133s, the bigger uh, certain, uh, diameter tanks. I would probably go ahead and use the single tank adapter. Otherwise, these rods that are here in the back of the wing pretty much hold your tank in place. So you don't necessarily have to have, and what you're gonna notice is on the PDF, it's listed as an option. All right, so this bag of goodies is pretty much what everybody's been asking me about. So let's open it up, start from scratch. Today, when you order the unit, you're gonna order an extra small, small, medium to extra large, or 2XL to 3XL. Now, this is not necessarily about how big a round you are. A lot of this has to do with the length of top of your shoulder down to about where your waist is, or just about the bottom of your belly button. So based on that length, that's going to pretty much judge which size harness you're gonna use. And I'm gonna show you more on that a little bit later. So when you open up the packet, what we're gonna have in there is we're gonna have our left and right straps. Pretty easy to tell which one is left. It's got the hog inflator uh, hold down. And of course, you'll also notice that on the left strap, you've got one D-ring and a blank keeper here. Because you're gonna, your, your inflator's gonna be coming through here, and to have a keeper up here is a little bit of a waste. And of course, on our left side, we've got two D-rings here. And of course, these are all mated to the nice tri-glide with the extra attachment point on the outside. And of course, this gives you a good understanding. Now this particular unit that I'm holding in my hand, this is the extra small, small. And one of the things that I'm gonna point out, and I'm gonna get some close-ups of, this is the top at the top of the shoulder, and this is the chest. So when you look at this, you're gonna see these cross straps that run across here. On the extra small, what you're gonna notice is the extra small only has two of these. You don't need a lot of extra shoulder pad when somebody's uh, you know, small in the torso, or I should say short in the torso. This is where we connect our waist strap through here, and it comes up and attaches here to the upper portion of the strap. On this one, you've got, this is the lower ring that hangs below. The weight pocket goes right here. And so you've got a, a D ring that hangs below the weight pocket. If you're using the large weight pockets, you'll end up folding this up, tucking it behind because the strap will come across and the large weight pockets already have a D-ring on them. The small weight pockets don't have a D-ring on them, so this you would leave down. You'll also notice that the, the large and the extra large ones actually have another ring like what you see right here. This ring also would be right down here. So that's one of the big differences in the extra small and small versus the medium and the large and on up to the extra, extra large and 3XL. Today, we're trying to make sure all of these are shipped out, already assembled. You're just gonna run this through the back plate and it just depends on how far you put it over the back plate or how, far, how much you leave in front. So you can really fit a number of different torso lengths. You gotta be careful. It's not about how round you are, it's about how long you are. So here's the other bag that's in our kit. I'm gonna dump it out here. And what you're gonna see here is you're going to see a rolled up strap. Now this strap is your waist strap. It's 
It's pretty easy to tell. It's got a rubber band down it and it's got a grommet already installed in it like what you see right there. Down here you're also going to see little uh, sleeves and these sleeves go over your shoulder straps. So there's four of these. One each for the shoulder straps and one each for each side of the hard plate where the waist strap goes through the hard plate to help protect the strap. You're also going to see something, this little rolled up deal here. And what that is, that is a valve strap. And one of the very last things that you're going to put on your back plate and wing system is this little strap here. In the bag, there's two plastic keepers. These plastic keepers are going to go on the back of the shoulders. Once you run the straps through the plate, this is what you put on the other side of the plate to hold everything in place. You're probably going to have a little extra strap left over after you run these through and you can just take your cutter and trim. Leave a few inches, I'm going to suggest two or three inches beyond the end when this is so that you have a little bit of an adjustment. Maybe if you have to put on a, a thicker wetsuit or a dry suit or something. It's going to be a belt buckle in there. These are stainless. You're going to get four keepers like this. One's a little smaller and three are larger. But I take the keeper and the D-ring is I actually put it on the waist strap right here so I've got a convenient extra connection point. So that gives me a D-ring underneath my weight pocket here, one here, and of course if you're using the crotch strap, there's a D-ring right in front of the buckle on the crotch strap. So that's what this little extra keeper and D-ring are for. If you get the hard plate, I really recommend that you get the pad that goes on the hard plate. Now, if you're up north and you're diving dry suits, yeah, you might, and you got all that fluffy underwear under your dry suit, you probably don't need the pad. But for comfort and such, otherwise, get the pad. This is going to be two extra grommets because you're going to need six of these. And again, I'll get a little close up so we can see what that looks like. A little male and female plastic grommet. You're going to need six of these to hold on the pad to the plate. Now, the soft plate already has a pad on it. You're going to get one little extra rubber band. I tend to stretch this open once I've got the buckle done stretch it open and put it over the, uh, the strap to keep the extra strap. I like to leave a little bit of strap behind the buckle again in case I need to make the strap a little bit bigger. Of course, we all know that nobody ever gets bigger. They always, their wetsuits tend to shrink for some crazy reason. What are we going to use these for? These keepers, are very handy when you put your tank straps through your wing and through the back plate before you begin threading it through the other side of the back plate take one of these keepers and put it on the strap that way you're able to keep your strap from pulling through to either side and getting misaligned so that's what these extra keepers are for. And then we put one more extra keeper in there just so you've got an extra one. And it's also handy to tighten up those metal grommet screws. So on the option page, you've got some choices for some optional uh, pockets. And these are very handy. This particular one is called the large utility pocket and it's big enough that you can put an extra mask in here if you need to. It's got some nice little drain holes on the bottom and it mounts through the waist strap here on the back just like that. You've also got 
an SMB spool pocket. It's got a little clear translucent cover on it and a zipper. And it also has a nice drain area off the bottom. You can see where that mesh is in there. And it's plenty big enough to handle a nice large SMB. When I go in the ocean, I normally never take anything smaller than a four foot uh, SMB, but you can actually get the six foot SMB in this pocket. It's got a strap and it's also got an extra little clip mount here on the top for you. Now what these are, the other option that's on that page are the small utility pockets. Now these are very handy and work wonderfully as trim pockets. They'll hold about three or four uh, pounds of lead, depending on the configuration of lead. They slip onto your upper tank strap, cam strap as some of you know is as, and they've got a little buckle on them. And of course that keeps you, when you head, maybe go head down, feet up, it keeps the the weight from slipping out of there. So these are the small utility pockets. There's all different ways that you can configure the total buoyancy control package. Now I'm going to put a link down below in the description to the scuba lab um, test so that you can take a look at that. And I'm also going to put a link down to our website so you can find the consumer guide and you can also find that PDF to order your total buoyancy control package. Again, I'm Bob Collins for Edge Hog Dive Gear. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Oh, hello, papagena. Tu le bella con la papaya. Oh.